Doberiner's Trides. In the year 1817, a German scientist, Doberiner, suggested that there is a relation between properties of elements and atomic masses. He made groups of three elements, each having similar chemical properties. They were called triads. He arranged the groups of three elements in an increasing order of atomic mass and showed that the atomic mass of the middle element was approximately equal to the mean of the atomic masses of the other two elements. Let us now study some examples of Doberiner's triads. The elements lithium, sodium and potassium for a triad. The atomic mass of lithium is 6.9 and that of potassium is 39.1. The mean of their atomic masses is equal to the atomic mass of sodium which is 23. The elements calcium, strontium and barium form a triad. The atomic mass of calcium is 40.1 and the atomic mass of barium is 137.3. The mean of their atomic masses is 88.7 and it is equal to the atomic mass of strontium which is 87.6. Chlorine, bromine and iodine form a triad. The atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 and that of iodine is 126.9. Their mean value is 81.2 which is approximately equal to the atomic mass of bromine which is equal to 79.9. Sulfur, selenium and tellurium also form a triad. The atomic mass of sulfur is 32.1 and that of tellurium is 127.6. Their mean value is 79.8, which is equal to the atomic mass of selenium, which is 79.0. Beryllium, magnesium and calcium also form a triad. The atomic mass of beryllium is 9.0 and the atomic mass of calcium is 40.1. Their mean value is 24.5, which is equal to the atomic mass of magnesium, which is equal to 24.3. Now let us consider the atomic masses of magnesium, calcium and strontium and find whether they form a triad. The atomic mass of magnesium is 24.3 and that of strontium is 87.6. Their mean value is 55.9. This value is not equal to the atomic mass of calcium, which is 40. This shows that the elements magnesium, calcium and strontium is not a Doberiner's triad. Thus, all the known elements could not be classified into the Doberiner's triads. Therefore, this method could not be used for the classification of elements. After the failure of Doberiner's triads, Newlands tried to classify elements. Let us acquaint ourselves with this system of classification.